Do you experience sales call reluctance? And is the, the fear of picking up the phone actually causing the growth of your business to slow? Uh, if that's the case, it's uh, you're not the only person. This happens to a lot of business owners. I hear this time and time again. Uh, if we can pick up the phone and make connections and, and do more deals, it's great for our business, but there's something that's stopping us. Uh, the topic of today's episode is to tell you well, why. What is the thing that uh, that gets in your way that stops you from picking up the phone and generating that business or having those conversations? Now, I recognize that over my years of working in the area of, of business and uh, with business owners, there's probably four key reasons. Uh, there was a time in my life where I had the fear of picking up the phone and, and potentially prospecting and calling people. And I've learned why we get that fear and I've learned some techniques to overcome it. Uh, to the extent when I overcame my fear, I was then able to go and pick up the phone and do 100 cold calls a day to, to people I didn't know. 100 cold calls a day, five days a week. I did that for a month on it. I probably did that for maybe a year, a year and a half in total. So I have, I've called thousands and thousands of people after overcoming this fear. And I've been able to help uh, other other people do the same. I had one senior executive at Macquarie. Uh, they just they built up a fear to answer on the phone. They showed me their phone and it had uh, 57 unanswered calls. Now, you know, at some point that's going to cause a problem for you in your business or, uh, or, or with your relationships. So we, we fix that quite easily. But before I even go into some of the techniques, I'm going to show you the some of the techniques tomorrow to help you overcome this, to get you on the phone and driving more uh, more conversations and more revenue. But today I want to share with you the four tips uh, the four reasons, not even the tips, the four reasons why you may be experiencing this situation. So number one is there's a negative expectancy. To, in some level, you're thinking of answering the phone, you're expecting there to be something that goes wrong. A no, or someone asking you for something you don't want to give, or, or some something's going to make you uncomfortable. So you're going out to the future, seeing that call going badly. That's the first reason you're probably not going to want to pick up the phone. The second reason is that you see that whatever happens on the phone is going to be permanent, okay? Uh, if you get a no, you're always gonna get a no, right? If someone's not interested, they're never gonna be interested, okay? So that's, that's the second reason. The third reason is that that no is personal, is about you. The reason they're saying no is because you suck, you're not good enough, uh, or you're not up to the grade or the standard or, or whatever the chatter is in your head. So you make it potentially about yourself. It could be that it's about them, that the timing's not right, the service isn't right. It could be a million other reasons, but frequently if you can't pick up the phone, you're making whatever the other person says about you. So uh, the second one was permanent, third one is personal, and the fourth one is pervasive. Now by pervasive, it usually means that not only do you see this being about you, you see that it's never gonna go away, it's, it's just like a, a constant thing, the pervasive is like is throughout your whole life. It's not just about this situation on the phone, it's about every other situation in your life. So if I get a no here, and it's gonna always say no, it's gonna be a no everywhere, right? So uh, now these, these last three, the permanent, pervasive, and personal, they uh, are really what Seligman calls learned helplessness. So we can get into a learned helplessness on the phone. So if you recognize any of these four creeping into your life, the negative expectancy, making it personal about yourself, making it permanent like it's never gonna change, and making it pervasive like it's throughout the whole of your life, then you wanna tune in tomorrow for tip number 51, because we'll start breaking down what are some of the things that we can do to overcome this, uh, this challenge of getting on the phone and having conversations with prospects. Okay, that's it for me today. Have yourself a great day, and I'll catch you tomorrow.